Let's talk to Eddie Travia. He's the CEO of Coincilium. Eddie, welcome to the show. Okay, tell me about Coincilium and more importantly, what it does in the crypto space, the blockchain space. Assume I know nothing. Well, we, we are uh, early investors in this space. Uh, we set up the company in 2014 in, in, in the UK um, and offices in the UK and the company is actually registered in the BVI. And uh, we have been active now since then as an investor primarily and as well as guiding and advising companies. But more recently, um, the startups we are helping are actually issuing their own tokens. And so we are a quite active um, ICO advisor. That is called ICO stands for Initial Coin Offering. So we are venture builder, investor and operator uh, in this space. Now, why is it such a hot topic? Why is everyone, every newspaper I pick up, every headline, OK, people who talk about pyramiding, it's a scheme, etc., etc. Why is it so hot? Well, First of all, because it's uh, multifaceted. So you have blockchain, which is a new technology um, that has been labeled as a foundational technology and one of the four pillars of the Industry 4.0 revolution by the World Economic Forum. So it is a major technology for um, the future of um, transactions, not only exchanging value, but also recording and storing data. Uh, and that's what most of the companies and, uh, are doing today, mainly recording data and making sure with the blockchain that it's secure. So it's a very important technology for um, uh, the world and society in general. So that's why we talk a lot about it. But at the same time, it's also a new method for uh, financing uh, new companies and uh, primarily uh, open source uh, projects, uh, IT projects, but also now all sorts of companies in various industries. And that's why we hear a lot about it. And of course, it's as well very close to um, money and the way we use money in, today, uh, in today's world. So that's why it's also extremely um, exposed in the media. OK, I've got to ask, in 100 years' time, will the history books say that this is the beginning of the revolution or the end of the revolution? No, I think it's definitely the beginning of a new way to, uh, to exchange value, store value, and moving on to uh, exchanging and storing uh, data as well. Understood. Now let's talk about your revenues, okay? I see that you posted some numbers um, at the end of May. Revenue increased by 181%. Total comprehensive income was up. Prior period, the continued operations basically went into profit from a loss. Profit per share was up, okay? It was all very, very good news. Mm, correct, the share correct. price currently is about 6p, market cap 8 million pounds. Mm -hmm. Do people really understand these numbers? Well, I think uh, people have to realize that our role is changing. As I was saying, we are becoming advisor, and that's where most of our revenues come from. Uh, we get a retainer and we get a success fee, usually in uh, cryptocurrencies, for this work uh, as advisors. Um, I think what has been happening is uh, because there are so, so few ways for um, uh, retail investors to be exposed to this market, uh, people are, the market is correlating our share price to the price of cryptocurrencies in general. So maybe that's kind of a shortcut for investors to find out um, where our share price could be positioned. And uh, unfortunately, because crypto prices have been going down for the few months now, yeah. Uh, that's where maybe uh, the reason why share price is kind of undervalued. Okay, so tell me about token sales. So token sales is, is another name for the initial coin offerings. And that's a major trend. I mean, a few months ago, I was talking about um, token sales having raised $8 billion globally. Uh, it's a global phenomenon. Uh, there are companies from Korea or, you know, and uh, Europe and Latin America doing token sales today. Uh, but now the numbers are even higher. And we're, I've, I've seen reports talking about more than $10 billion already. So it, it's a new way of raising funds. You basically issue your own token. And you need to uh, explain the token economics and the token model in your own, um, in your own structure, in your own entity, and, and how it's going to interact with users and issuers and different actors. So it's it's very exciting sector. Okay. So you're basing a lot of your business on Gibraltar. Now, I've mm -hmm. been to Gibraltar. It's not a choice destination for me. Hopefully, not too many people in Gibraltar are listening to this. Why Gibraltar? Um, we, we like Gibraltar because they have been looking at this space for a long time now. So they, they were looking at what they call and what is called uh, distributed ledger, ledger technology, DLT. 
And uh, there was always a lack of a proper regulatory framework in that space and for blockchain, which is also called DLT, Distributed Ledger Technology. And they have looked at that more than two years ago, so well before the ICO craze and, and the big wave of ICOs. And, and basically, we found that their approach was um, kind of an intelligent approach in the sense that they were not looking to be restrictive or punitive, but they were trying to open it in a principle-based regulatory framework where, where companies can work and where users or investors or users of uh, token-related activities can be protected. So we feel that they have the right um, expertise and the right approach to it. So mm. that's why we work with them. Okay, so the million dollar question, obviously Bitcoin is on its knees at the moment. Your share price, I'm looking at it being highly correlated as a theme, okay? Mm -hmm. As I say to many people, I put my old hedge fund hat on, give me three reasons, give me two or three reasons why I should consider having your shares in my portfolio. Well, the, the first reason is uh, it's, there are very few uh, ways to be exposed for retail investors to this space. And as I was saying, blockchain is a foundational technology. So there are many, a lot of value is going to be created from these companies. And we basically invest. We mainly invest in equity. So the people who own shares of Concilium indirectly own shares in um, vetted uh, blockchain companies that we have found and selected. At the same time, maybe some people want to be exposed to cryptocurrencies and also without taking any risks, you know, our portfolio of cryptocurrencies from our advisory work, they are exposed to that uh, as well. And of course, we are on a regulated market. We are on a, on a, on a recognized stock exchange. And that's a great asset uh, and it's of great value to investors. Okay, my final question, even at my age, am I too, le too old to sort of learn this new way in life? No, no, of course not. I mean, you know, this, it's, um, uh, there, there is a learning curve, obviously, because it's a, it's a new way to look at uh, different, you know, as I was saying, data recording and exchanging value. Uh, but it's, it's open to, to, to anyone, and, you know, it's, uh, uh, it's, not, it's not rocket science. I mean, it's cryptography, but you don't need to understand all cryptography to use, for example, cryptocurrencies or to understand how blockchain can streamline some processes and improve um, processes in society in general. So it's, it's very much open to, to anyone. So contrary to what the press tell me, it's not just, for, it shouldn't be widows and orphans excluded. No, no, of course, of course. It's, uh, it's uh, you know, I mean, as, as looking at it in a different, like in a different perspective, because the technology and what the technology can do are two different things, are different things from what token sales are doing right now. So token sales is basically, um, uh, a new way for people to raise funds. So there, you have to be uh, uh, you have to to be aware that there are some potential scams and there are some risks of losing yep. money. Um, so in that sense, I would say be careful and and do your due diligence, right? But in terms of learning how to send Bitcoin or to see at what blockchain can do, anyone is 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 free and open to to check that. Eddie, on that note, we wish you very well. Thank, Thank you. you.